So 2022 will be the final year of GTE Pro. The top level GT category in the World Endurance Championship will come to a close and will not return in 2023. So why has this happened? And what is the future of GT racing in the WEC? For a class that made its debut all the way back in 2012 and has consistently shown some awesome action year in, year out, it's quite sad to see that it will come to a close. As stated, the GTE cars have been here for a while. After the ACO dropped the GT1 class at the end of 2011, the GT2 class was renamed to LMGTE in the WEC. The WEC GTE Pro class was meant for the manufacturers and professional drivers, while GTE AM was meant for privateer teams and a mix between amateur and professional drivers. Many manufacturers have raced in the GTE Pro class over the years, including brands such as Porsche, Ferrari, Corvette, Ford, and Aston Martin. There's also been many memorable moments in the GTE Pro class over the years. I can think of one back in 2017, where there was a last lap pass for the lead from the 97 Aston Martin on the 63 Corvette, which was thrilling, and Aston eventually won because of that last lap overtake. Unfortunately, over the last few years, the competition has had less and less manufacturers enter. In 2022, only three teams raced, Ferrari, Corvette, and Porsche. Because of the new LMH and LMDH prototypes entering the hypercar class, many manufacturers have shifted their focus to that. Porsche and Ferrari have decided to pull out of the GTE Pro class as both manufacturers will enter hypercars in 2023. As for Corvette, they will switch to GTE AM. Now the good news is GTE AM will continue into 2023, so we will continue to see GT racing in the WEC in 2023, but 2023 will be the final year of GTE AM. So what is the future of GT racing in the WEC? With GTE Pro ending in 2022 and GTE AM ending in 2023, what is next? Well, the introduction of the new hypercars is not the only reason for the WEC to axe the GTE classes. Because in 2024, GT3 based cars will replace the GTE cars in the WEC. In IMSA, there is a very similar situation to this. In 2021, IMSA's GTE classes switched to GT3 based rules and became the GTD Pro class and GTD class. So with GT3 cars coming into the mix, this means there is a future for GT racing in the WEC, which is great news to hear. One big name to confirm a GT3 entry is Ford, who will make their return to the WEC and IMSA in 2024, and Ford will race at the 24 Hours of Le Mans for the first time since 2019 when they ran in the GTE Pro class. So we officially say goodbye to GTE Pro, as the category in the WEC will not return for 2023 and beyond. What was your favorite moment of the GTE Pro class? And are you excited for the GT3 based cars to debut in 2024? As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content on the GT classes and everything related to the WEC and IMSA, please make sure to subscribe to the left. And if you want to see another video right now, click the suggested video to the right of your screen. So that's it from me, thanks for watching, and goodbye for now.